Congresswoman Madeleine Medallio says the U.S. government has the power to remove FAS migrants convicted of crimes in Guam and must, quote, do more to resolve a problem now taxing and frustrating GovGuam. Congresswoman Bordaglio says the problem's not new. It was discussed at a high-level meeting among Interior, Guam, and FAS officials a few years ago. But the issue again grabbed local headlines this year when Governor Calvo faced obstacles from FAS leaders to return migrants convicted of crimes in Guam. Bordaglio suggests the feds have not done enough. The federal government must do more. They must do more. Uh, to, to resolve this issue, issue, which is why I requested that Assistant Secretary Kiana uh, organize a meeting with the State Department and the FAS governments to develop an intergovernmental agreement so that the FAS citizens who are convicted of crimes in the United States can serve their sentences in their home country. Contacted by phone, Kia Aina's office said the assistant secretary did not have time to be interviewed this week due to a busy schedule, but was taking Ms. Bordaglio's request very seriously. The congresswoman says Guam can no longer afford to incarcerate FAS migrants convicted of crimes. Its prison is full. She insists the federal government has the power to resolve the problem. The U.S. has agreements with other countries to return their citizens who have committed crimes in the United States and have them serve out their sentences in their respective countries. Bordaglio stresses she's not asking for a new program, but only for federal coordination to enforce existing ones, just as the U.S. government removes those convicted of crimes on the mainland. There's just a few months left in the Obama administration, but Bordaglio still says she's hopeful adding, we have to start somewhere. We've been talking about this for decades. Yet she says Guam continues to bear an unmanageable burden under the compacts. On Capitol Hill, Matt Kay for PNC News.